Well, I think one of the most important things it is important for all of us to do is to show gratitude, especially when people sacrifice. Because when we show gratitude for sacrifice, it allows us to also teach next generations about the effectiveness of sacrifice so that they too in culture a spirit of sacrifice in their own lives and it builds generation to generation. One of the things that we are celebrating this evening is the generational impact of Jack Malarkey on the marrying Catholic family. And so for him, his children, his grandchildren, and how his grandchildren will continue in generations to come to continue to be a part of the marrying Catholic family. So tonight is our way after a life of great service and sacrifice to the marrying family to say to Jack, thank you. Thank you for your witness. Thank you for your dedication. Thank you for your sacrifice and your love for this family and for Catholic education. Jack Malarkey is a face here, whether he taught here, whether he was principal here, or whether he was retired. Jack Malarkey is always here. That example is phenomenal for our students here. It is absolutely phenomenal for them to see a person like Jack Malarkey still coming back every time he can. Perfect example, absolutely perfect. A lot of the faculty that he hired has been gone. Uh, it's a whole new faculty, but the ones that worked with him have the utmost respect for him and what he did for this school. And our students, through us, see that. They see when he comes back to work, the respect that we have for him, and they have respect. His grandchildren have all come through here. In fact, the youngest one is still here, Johnny Malarkey, and he was thrilled with this night. With him being thrilled with the night, the rest of the senior class knew what was happening and respected that. And they respect Mr. Malarkey for what he has done. took for this place and he said to me a couple weeks ago at a reception we had he goes anytime you need somebody to talk to you call me and that that's just who he is he would go above and beyond for anybody and he didn't teach me I wasn't one of his students but he still said you're in the position anything you need call me and you can't say enough about him especially at 87. In, like when I came to school here it's kind of like like he's a father figure that might be a good way to look at it. And back then we had more priests, we had nuns, and you could always go to them. But the be that's the best way I can describe it. It's a family atmosphere. And like the community, the way you look at it for the community is all the alumni. I mean, the room is so full, I couldn't believe it. And it's amazing to see how many people are willing to come back because you, you just, that feeling never goes away. I guess that's the best way to put it. Catholic education is different from education because of the word Catholic. But it's not just a word. It is a mentality and it is a lifestyle. And one of the things that Jack has done has 
been to have a life dedicated to Catholic education, which means the truths of our faith continue to remain the same when Jack was in grade school and in high school back at St. Jerome's all the way through to his impact that he made here at Marion. The difference is, is adapting the application of that truth to the needs of 21st century learning and what we face today, the needs of a pandemic. And so when you know what you're about and when you know what it's a heart, what is at the heart of your mission and what your truth is, it just becomes about pivoting to be able to take that truth and keep it consistent while adjusting to the needs of the present age. Jack did that throughout his career and we're proud to be able to carry that into 2021 and beyond as a Marian Catholic family. I am in just such awe at what I experienced today. I have heard so many things I cannot believe they could be me. <laughs> but I am very, very blessed as I have I greeted so many of you this evening. I remember you so many of you so well. Some of you were meatheads. <laughs> Some of you weren't. But nonetheless, you were my family. And no, when I when I think back. And you think of the geography of Mary. You go down to as far below as Lee Heighton and as far above as Lee and Weatherly. Far beyond up of the other ways as, as can possibly be. And down through the valley. The people that I had the privilege of helping build Mary. Marion High School was the, one of the greatest blessings I have ever received in addition to my family and so many of you who have been so loyal and dedicated. We haven't always gotten along, but we learn to respect one another's opinion because we value the result. And so to all of you, and to all of the many, many people who have come before you, I say thank you. Thank you for the opportunity, first of all, to make this school what it was, is, and will be. I thank you all for that. And so on behalf of my family, but believe me, I have never, ever thought I would experience what I have experienced today. Normally, Malarkey's mighty line doesn't go very far. But the one word that I can certainly say with all reverence, respect, gratitude. Thank you. God bless you.